What's going on everyone? No zoop for you here. And today we're taking a look at the Tier 8 Premium Pan-Asian Destroyer, Fenyang. And this destroyer is actually pretty interesting. I, I think a lot of you might like it, or at least some of the attributes that it has. It possesses a very unique array of offensive and defensive items. So much so that I, I feel that this ship is kind of a jack of all trades in many ways. And even goes above and beyond that. So, as usual with these reviews, what we're going to do is we're going to go through these stats. We're going to take a look at each statistic. And then I'm going to give you the pros and the cons of this ship. And basically just provide you with my insight so that you can make your own informed decision and purchase if you so desire. I'm not going to try and really steer you one way or the other. I'm just going to give you the facts as I see them. Now, of course, these are going to be with my current commander skills. And of course, this is going to get a complete rework at some point in the near future. So uh, <laughs> for the time being, these are my commander skills. And the reason I'm going to tell you these right now is it does affect the attributes that I'm using. So I just want you to know what I've got on here. And the interesting thing about these commander skills that I'm using, I, I really went one way in the beginning. And after a few rounds, I decided that I didn't like the way I was going and switched them up again. And so what I wound up with uh, in the three and four slot were uh, Torpedo Armament Expert to get that reload time down. BFT, of course, the uh, 10 second decrease in the reload. Pretty good. Uh, also Superintendent for that extra smoke charge and the extra Torpedo Reload Booster, which you'll definitely want because you only have one rack. I also use Demolition Expert, which I'm finding to be pretty good. It's, it's been pretty good. And then uh, Concealment Expert. What I didn't have on this time around, uh, I did not have IFHE. And I would highly recommend IFHE. I had originally spec this ship out as a gunboat and decided that while it is a decent gunboat, it's also a torp boat, which... That was this setup right here, more geared towards the tort boat aspect, which is why I didn't choose IFHE. You're really going to need IFHE, though, and the reason why is your guns are only 100 millimeters, and without IFHE, you can sling shells all day long and do absolutely no damage to battleships and more heavily armored ships. With the IFHE, though, that changes things up a little bit and actually makes your guns pretty potent, so... Just my advice, you're probably going to want that IFHE. Maybe take that over, over Demo Expert. I, I find that the fires, eh, they come few and far enough that you'll probably want the IFHE instead of that. That That's just my, my own opinion right there. And of course, yours might differ, and what other people think might differ as well. So... With that being said, let's look at some of the stats of this ship. Survivability, you've got 19,700 hit points. Artillery, like I said, you've got 100 millimeter guns. These are set up in a 4x2 setup. You've got two turrets on the front, two turrets on the back with two guns each. Not too shabby right there. Your reload time is going to be 4.7 seconds. And again, that's with BFT. It's a little higher without it. Range on these is going to be 12.5 kilometers. That's that's actually pretty good. Your range is pretty good. And shell velocity, you're looking at 1,000 meters a second. So these shells are pretty quick. And this this ship is actually a really good destroyer. Uh, I wouldn't say hunter necessarily, but it, it's pretty good at surviving in a gunfight with destroyers. You, you do have some pretty good guns going up against destroyers. So... That is one thing to keep in mind. Fire percentage chance on these also is going to be 10.5%, and that's with the demo expert that I have on there. So this thing does like to start fires as well. Torpedoes. Now, this, this is the very, very interesting part right here. You've got deep water torpedoes that only hit battleships and aircraft carriers. They have 12 kilometer range, and when you're using the upgrade torpedo tubes mod 1, they travel 70 knots. They're very fast. They're very, very fast, and they're hard to avoid. And not only that, the last thing about these torpedoes, they hit hard. 
20,967 maximum damage. So, if these connect with a ship, they're going to hurt that ship. Of course, it's only going to be a battleship or aircraft carrier. Reload time with everything that I've chosen for it is 109 seconds. But, wait, there is more. You do get that torpedo reload booster. And that's ready to go every 152 seconds. So, in theory, you really have double launchers because of this for a fair amount of the round. You also have four of these torpedo reload boosters, so that's with Superintendent. Keep that in mind. I, I would highly suggest taking that because you are going to want those. And that brings us to our next thing, AA Defense. You start with a base of 65 out of 100. But wait, once again, there's more. You get defensive AA. So, you've actually got good AA on this thing. In addition to that good AA, you've got DF. I mean, that that's a very nice added bonus for any destroyer. But considering on top of that, you already have Torpedo Reload Booster. And on top of that, you already have Engine Boost. And on top of that, you have Smoke. And let's talk about this smoke real quick. Action time, 30 seconds. Dispersion time, 70 seconds, with a reload of 95 seconds. And six of them, if you're using Superintendent, you've got a lot of long-lasting smoke. The only thing you're missing, really, is Hydro. And that would be pretty insane if this ship had it. It would make it a little overpowered. So you don't have Hydro, but you've got a lot of really good things right here. Which makes this ship very versatile. Let's talk about the maneuverability real quick. Maximum speed of 34.6 knots. Turning circle radius is 730 meters with a rudder shift time of 4.5 seconds. This ship feels sluggish. There, there's no other way to put it. This ship feels really sluggish. And it's understandable. It's a big destroyer. So you gotta keep that in mind. It's not the most nimble thing in the world. There's a reason why it can't be the most maneuverable and nimble thing in the world. If it was, it would probably be just a little bit unfair. Concealment, maximum concealment is going to be 6.1 kilometers. And that is not too shabby for what this ship is. So now let's talk about the pros of the Fenyang. And I, I, gotta, I gotta hand it to this ship. It's, it's very interesting. I mean, it gives you a lot. And it gives you multiple ways to play it. It gives you the ability to make it a gunboat ship or a semi-gunboat ship. It's also a semi-torp ship. So long as that the round you're in has a lot of battleships. And the odd aircraft carrier. Which, by the way, doesn't matter because you've got that defensive AA. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you can shoot planes down and smack them left and right. Especially... Especially if you're going up against a lower tiered aircraft carrier. If you're going up against a tier 6 aircraft carrier, you're going to shoot down a ton. You're actually you're probably going to shoot more down than the rest of your team, which is nice. Because most likely they're going to go after you and not realize that, oh gosh, this guy's got good AA actually. Again, I mentioned the torpedo reload booster, really, really good. The smoke on the ship's really good. Your guns have good range. They've got good velocity. They have a decent chance of setting fires. With IFHE, they actually do some pretty good damage against battleships and other ships. Combined with that smoke, you can sit in the smoke for a long time and fire those guns. But if you don't want to play it like a gunboat, your torpedoes are absolutely devastating. They're fast. They've got decent range. I mean, this ship has a lot going for it. It really does. The pros of this ship, there are many. And I, I feel that it has a lot to offer in many situations. Now, granted, matchmaking dependent. If you're in that round where you're top tier, you're going to have a hell of a round. If you're bottom tiered, yeah, you, uh, you might have a little more trouble. But by no means are you in deep trouble, so long as you stay away from the enemy's radar. I mean, you do have those uh, torpedoes that do a significant amount of damage against battleships, so make the most of them and use them. Now let's talk about the cons of this ship real quick. And I think the main con for this ship is its maneuverability. It, it is sluggish. It feels sluggish. There's, there's no way around that. It is a sluggish feeling ship. Also, another issue with this ship, which isn't really a horrible thing, but you've got so much going for it, you might kind of get lost in how you want to play this ship. 
And it sounds odd to say that, but that does happen sometimes. And some players like something that's a little more cut and dry, where they know what it's going to do, what it's going to be. And you don't have to worry about five different things at once, like shooting down aircraft carriers and being a gunboat and a tort boat. And I, I know it sounds weird, but some players are different than others and don't like more options. I Personally, I, I love the amount of options that this ship has. Again, that's a pro, though. So the con, really, the only thing I can think about is that maneuverability. And, of course, you've got 100 millimeter guns, which, you know, in most circumstances, it's not going to do a hell of a lot of damage against battleships and some other heavily armored ships. But against destroyers, this, this thing is pretty good. It, it does the job. So what do I think overall of the Fen Yang? I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of down with it. I, I like this ship. I, I like this ship. It offers a lot. It offers a play style that can adapt to pretty much any situation. You really don't have to worry too much about aircraft carriers, which is nice in this day and age. So if there is an aircraft carrier and they try and drop on you, they're going to find out rather quickly, which is nice. Torpedo reload booster for your awesome deep water torps. That's just kind of icing on the cake right there. And of course, once again, you've got that really good smoke that can pretty much keep you near perma smoke. And from that, you just launch shells left and right. And again, those shells might not do the most damage, but hey, they work when you need them to work. So overall, the Fen Yang, I, I personally recommend it. I think it's an interesting ship. We really don't have any destroyers quite like this right now. It's, it's unique, and I, I think a lot of players are going to be able to take this ship and play it in a play style that suits them because it has that versatility. And I think that's going to be the appeal of this ship right here. The versatility and just the sheer amount of consumables that this thing carries and the fact that it can be a gunboat or it can be a torp boat. And your captain skills, you like me, you might find out that that normal blase loadout you always use for every destroyer because really that's all there is might not work for this ship because there are other things that will work of course when the new commander skills come out we don't know how that's going to work but that's neither here nor there the fin yang tier 8 pan asian destroyer in my opinion is a pretty good destroyer and one definitely worth checking out and doing a little more research on if you're interested so that's my take on the Fen Yang. I hope you all are doing wonderful. I hope you're having a great week. Catch you all later. Zoop out.